What's up? My name is Take Nova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to bypass the TPM requirement for Windows 11 while you're trying to update the system. In here, I have a virtual machine running Windows 11 and I opened up a Windows Update. I clicked Install Now, it said it had an issue and I can click there to repair it. However, when I did, I saw this over here. Windows 11 Update, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements, here's why. TPM 2.0. Now, of course, there is a way to somehow enable TPM on Hyper-V, and I could step around this problem, but I'm gonna tackle it head on. If you've installed Windows 11 on your computer and you're trying to update it, yet you see this error here, a lot of the places you go to may be telling you to reinstall Windows, but you don't have to do that. You can simply close out of this window, wait for it to exit, and of course, I have the issue here again. In the description down below, you'll find a file that you need to download. Open up your Windows Explorer, C Drive, and enable hidden files by clicking the three dots, followed by options, and inside of here, under view, make sure that show hidden files and folders is checked. After doing so, open up Windows BT, sources, and paste the file in here. When you're asked about replacing it, simply click copy and replace. If you see access is denied, you'll need to download take ownership, which will be linked in the description down below. After you've downloaded it, you'll land up with a zip. Open the zip, open the folder, and run add take ownership. After doing so, click yes, okay, close any file explorers, and we're back to here. Locate app razor res, right click, and then click take ownership. Click yes, and once this is done, try and copy in the file that we downloaded earlier once again. Click replace, followed by continue, and after it's done, we'll be able to open up Windows Update once again. So settings, Windows Update, Fix Issues, and after it checks your computer, you can see Almost Ready. So click Close, and if you're downloading something, the download will continue, things will run properly, and eventually your computer will then upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11 without any more issues. Now, of course, you may be very sketched out with downloading DLL files off the internet, and you're very good for thinking that. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the file on Virus Total. What you need to do is make sure that it says File Distributed by Microsoft at the very top of the page. I'd highly recommend you click the link down below, check it, and then check your downloaded file as well. If it shows up as green and it doesn't say by Microsoft, or even worse, red, then don't use the file. Only use this file distributed by Microsoft themselves, as they are a known producer on Virus Total, and it's verifiably them. So of course, depending on the size of the update, this could take some time, and eventually you'll get to the end of it, and things will work properly. But anyways, thank you all for watching, my name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!